Hello, everyone. My name is Liu Wan, and I come from Shandong University. Today, I would like to present the paper "Interest Aware Message Passing GCM for Recommendation." In the first part of the report, I'm going to begin with the background of our work. Here, it for that you have already understood the code of recommender system and the graph convolution technologies. So, let's start with graph convolution network in recommendation. First, we construct the user atom interaction graph with historical uh, user atom interaction data. As shown in the left figure, the link between node U1 and I2 represents that user U1 has purchased atom I2. Then conduct graph convolution operation on the constructed user atom interaction graph. The above mentioned uh, operation consists of two major parts, message passing and message aggregation. A message passing propagates message of a node to the target node, and the message aggregation aggregates all the messages propagated from neighbor nodes to the target node. However, the current GCM-based models always suffer from the oversmoothing problem. In other words, when stacking more graph convolution layers, node embedding become more similar and eventually indistinguishable, resulting in performance degradation. As shown in this figure, the target node U1 at F4 aggregated information from high order neighbor nodes. The same nodes and connectivities are involved into a user and atoms embedding link in the high order graph convolution layer. After that, we studied GCN in recommendation. We calculated the average ratio of nodes involved in different layers of graph convolution on three data sites. We found that after, after six or seven layer graph convolution, a node can almost receive information from all the other nodes. However, current decent based recommendation models achieve their peak performance at most three or four layers. We argue that the current GCN based recommendation models overlook an important factor for the oversmoothing problem in recommendation, that is, high order neighboring users with no common interest of a user can be also involved in the user's embedding lane in the graph convolution operation. As a result, the multi-layer graph convolution will make users with dissimilar interests have similar embeddings. Besides the oversmoothing effect, we deem that a node also take, uh, takes noise or negative information in the embedding propagation process, which hurts the final performance. This is because the user's interest often span a range of atoms. Different users can have very different interests or even exhibit contradictory uh, attitudes to some atoms. Without distinguishing those users, the embedding propagation may perform among users with very different interests to learn uh, their embeddings in the graph convolution operation. To avoid this situation and elevate the oversmoothing problem, it is important to group users with similar interests into subgraphs and constrain the embedding propagation to operate inside the subgraph. To achieve the goal, we propose a interest aware message passing strategy. We really arm your node to form subgraphs in the user atom graph. The general idea is that users with more similar interests are grouped into a subgraph and the atoms which directly lead to those users also belong to this subgraph. As if for each user only belongs to one subgraph and an atom 
can also be associated with multiple subgraphs. Because the direct interactions between users and, and items provide the most important and reliable information of your interest, in the first order propagation, all the first order neighbors are involved in the uh, graph convolution operation. For the high order graph convolution to avoid introducing noise information or node in a subgraph can also uh, can only export the information from its neighbor nodes in this subgraph. We designed a subgraph generation module to construct the subgraphs from a given input user and interaction graph. Here we formulate the user grouping as a classifying task. Specifically, we fusion the graph structure feature and the user node. The user node embedding to represent for the user feature. Then cast a patent user feature to a prediction vector with a two layer neural networks. The position of the maximum value in output represents which group or subgraph the user belongs to. Finally, for the user nodes or atom nodes, our model can fill out the negative information propagation in the high order graph convolution operations for the embedding lane and thus can keep the unicorn nurse by stacking more uh, graph convolution layers. In experiment, we adopted two product categories in the public Amazon review data site and the location share data site as shown in this table. In this work, we focus on the top and recommendation task. We compare our method with those business, including both graph and GCN based models. The experimental results are shown in this figure, in which IMP GCN 2, 3, and 4 indicate the model with 2, 3, and 4 sub graphs respectively. From our results, we have some interesting observations. The proposed method outperforms that design consistently when stacking more than two or three layers over both data sites. Our proposed model continues to achieve better performance with deep structure. The results demonstrate the capability of my model on elevating the oversmoothing problem. Over it also uh, justifies our claim that exporting information from all nodes in this community causes the oversmoothing problem in GCN based recommendation model and validates the effectiveness of our subgraph generation algorithm on classifying users with common interest. Then we studied the effect of subgraph number on the performance of our model. Our model with two subgraphs can obtain the best results when stacking no more than three layers. When stacking more than three layers, our model with three subgraphs performs the best. With more subgraphs, on the other on the one hand, our model can distinguish users with similar interest in a finer uh, level and thus can better distill information from high order neighbors. On the other hand, it also cuts, uh, cuts more correct connections to other nodes, especially the ones in short distance which provide more valuable information in many lane. Therefore, there is a trade-off on selecting the number of subgraphs the results of our model and all the competitors over the three data sites are reported in, the, in this table. It can be found that our method outperforms all the competitors consistently across all the test data sites in terms of different metrics. From our results, we gained some interesting observations. First, 
the perform of neural MMF is relatively poor as it no explicitly leverages the high order connectivities between users and atoms. For the graph-based methods, CSE may use uh, the implicit associates where high order neighborhoods proximity by performing random walks on the your atom interaction graph. Hoberak outperforms CSE because it samples user atom interactions from high order neighbors to enrich the train data. For GCM based methods, GCMC obtains better performance of SSE, demonstrating the advantages of GCM based approaches. NGC app achieves consistent, much better performance of other methods as it can explicitly and directly exploit the high order connectivities in the embedding. Let GCN achieve subsequent improvements over NGCF by simplify, simplifying it with the removal of the two common designs in GCN. Our proposed model outperforms all the baselines over all the designs. The great improvement demonstrates the importance of discussing nodes in high order neighbors in the graph convolution operation, as well as the effectiveness of our proposed uh, interest aware message passing strategy. Let's summarize in this work, we point that exploiting high order nodes in this community would introduce negative information into the embedding propagation in the GCN based recommendation models. We present a novel model which lends user and atom embeddings by performing high order graph convolution instead of subgraphs. We designed a subgraph generation algorithm which group users with similar interests and their interactive atoms into a same graph. Experiments on large-scale real-world design demonstrate that our proposed model can gain improvements by starting more layers to exploit information from held neighbors and achieve the promising performance. Our code is uploaded to a GitHub. If you have any interest, you can download it. That's all. Thank you.